Fuck you be. You're so close to the um, so close to the fight, man. We gonna we all gonna see here pretty soon, so we don't have to guess. We gonna see here pretty soon. So, um, Connor has that timing, man. He has that timing and the combination. Really good eyesight. He can see when shots are coming. Get out of the way, Connor very well. Uh, Khabib got that pressure. Um, they both, I think, conditioning. They're gonna both be equal. Um, power. Connor's probably gonna have the more power with the left hand. But the ability, the ability to, to take somebody down and keep them down, my God. Khabib might have that on lock. So, really, it's going to be dictated in the beginning of the fight who's going to win. Okay, so if Connor can evade the takedown, snipe some shots. So yeah, that's what I think is going to happen. Face. So, in the first round, maybe the second round, you have to... Um, you have to just watch it and evaluate who's going to win that round, and that's really going to dictate the fight. Um, if it comes down to a five-round decision, it's going to be Khabib. There's no way Conor McGregor is going to be able to avoid getting his ass put down on the ground uh, for five rounds. And the, the amount of time he's going to spend on his back, the amount of ground and pound that's going to be landed by Khabib is going to be enough to win every single round if he goes to decision. So I think in initial rounds is when Conor's going to have his best chance to um, – you know, defend those shots, create the space, land those strikes, put it down. So, I don't want to say who going to win. Shit, if Khabib win, I'm not going to say I'm surprised. But if Conor wins, I might have to um, I might have to go upside his head. Who knows? All right, give me some questions real quick. How do you see Pettis beating Ferguson? Um, Pettis beating Ferguson because it's too dynamic. Um, Pettis' ground game is very underrated. I don't really see... Uh, Ferguson being able to get some of that bull that he get a lot of guys off. Also, you know, we fight out a, a, a camp that is extremely strategic. Um, game plan is always on lockdown. And he's just way too crafty. And he's been let off the hook a lot of times. Let off a lot of times just because guys didn't have the, the, the IQ, the tools, or, or, or the, the vision to put him away. Lando, Lando had him hurt. Um, he's been hurting a lot of fights. And he always... He always comes from a position where he's kind of losing and then he finds a way to get through so Greg ain't gonna slap nothing I am not these bubblegum dudes he's talking to